before I started vlogging, I should make sure my camera's still recording. Hey, it is. Alright, what is going on YouTube? Today is gonna be a really fucking embarrassing day for me. What you're about to see is a video that I had actually talked about in the early days of the channel. Um, I had made a video talking about having a schedule and all this shit, and I had mentioned that I have a couple of clips that I hadn't uploaded because I didn't know exactly how to present them. So I've been thinking about it, and I, I think I figured it out for this particular clip how I want to uh, show it to you guys. So this clip is me fucking almost eating shit on Highway 128 when I was headed out to Calistoga. And what I'm gonna do is kind of break it down so you guys can understand what happened. I mean, the short version is that I was a fucking idiot and was not paying enough attention to what I was doing. But uh, yeah, so before I keep talking too much, here is that clip. Apparently not. But... <laughs> okay, self, calm the fuck down. All right, so here's what happens. Now, I had been on 128 a couple times before that. The same route, going to Calistoga. And why, why red light? Why you gotta ruin this? Really? Goddamn. I'm trying to make a video here. What? You're making this difficult because you're giving me all these red lights. And I know I don't want to watch somebody sit at a red light and talk. That's not fun unless people are fucking crashing. Asian lady at a Prius, I mean, there could have been a crash. That was racist and sexist. You're welcome, internet. Okay. Now that those red lights are gone, here's what was happening. I was on my way to Calistoga for a beer tasting and some races. I took Highway 128. This is probably maybe my third or fourth time taking that road. And I had been following GPS, but obviously since you're going through the mountains, GPS cuts in and out. Now I had been following behind this sedan for a couple of miles. They were going really slow, breaking in all the corners. And if you've ridden a motorcycle in twisty roads, you know that that's not fun at all. Not even a little bit. In fact, it's kind of frustrating. So I finally got the chance to pass them and I was like, yay, I get to have fun. And I did for a little bit, but since I was still sort of unfamiliar with that route, I felt like I was getting lost. I had felt like I was getting lost and decided to pull off and check my GPS to make sure I was still going the right way. Cause I had somewhere to be at a specific time and I was meeting people out there. And I didn't want to be like an hour and a half late because then all the good beer would be gone. Uh, so I pulled off and I checked my phone, made sure I was still going the right way. Um, and then put my phone back. I looked back and I see this sedan had caught up to me. They were about to pass me. So I hop on the bike real quick, jump out in front of them. And I don't know if it got picked up in the camera, but when I hopped out in front of them, they were only a couple car lengths behind me. 
So it was a dick move on my part to do that just so I didn't have to pass him again. And then, obviously, because I didn't want to keep, keep slowing him down, I fucking got on the throttle real hard. I don't know how fast I was going. I don't know if you can see it in the video either. But I got it going pretty quick. Came up on a left-hand turn. And uh, I just fucking panicked. I started the turn all right. I looked at a big pile of rubble on the side and fucking hit my front brake, stood the bike up, and went off road a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I ended up catching a little bit of air. The bike went into a wobble, which was fucking terrifying. And, uh, I mean, you, you saw what happened. So here's a few things I learned from uh, that particular incident. Motherfucker! <laughs> Every red light it seems like. This is some bullshit. And you're still recording, right? Yeah, you are. So the first thing I learned is to always trust your GPS. Now, some of you guys might be like, the fuck you talking about, dude? Don't trust that thing. Hear me out, though. I've been using GPS navigations thousands of times over the last couple of years. And only about three times has it actually fucking done me wrong. So I'd say that's a pretty good track record. Always trust your fucking GPS. Now the second thing that I learned, and I think this one's really important for every rider to learn, well really every person, but especially every rider, uh, be patient. Because <laughs> had I not been so antsy to get in front of that car so I wouldn't have to wait behind them and miss a couple of really nice turns, uh, I wouldn't have been in that situation. I had just been patient, waiting for the car to pass, and then waiting for another opportunity to pass. But I didn't. I was fucking hasty and almost ended up paying the price for it. And am I on the third thing? I think I might be. The third thing I learned, and some people might not agree, but if you're up in a twisty mountain area, you better fucking commit to those turns. Because what happened with me is I came halfway through the turn, I saw something that spooked me, and I tried to stop. And that's what fucked me up. So you need to commit to that turn. You need to fucking look through it and just go. Unless it will do more harm to continue through the turn. Because now imagine if I was on a mountainside. If I did that shit, I would have just fallen off the side of a fucking mountain and probably would have died. So, fucking commit. Full on committal to those turns when you're in the mountains. Obviously, I'm not a professional rider by any means. I'm very much a new rider on the road. I've only been riding for about two years. Um... But that is what I took away from this whole incident. And yes, I am embarrassed. You guys can laugh at me, please do, because that was, that was just pathetic. <laughs> I can't be the only one who's had a stupid oh shit moment like this. Why don't you go ahead and tell me about yours in the comments. And uh, tell me what you learned from it. And now I don't have a lot of, actually I don't think I have really any other clips like this one. But if I come across them, let me know if you'd like to see more kind of breakdowns like this one. And I will deliver. Hopefully not often, but uh, when it happens. And there is one last thing I wanted to talk to you guys about in this video. And that is... Uh, kind of just wanted to gauge your interest in a key tag. So I had worked on it earlier today. Um, I actually thought of it maybe a week or two ago. Did a little searching around to see if I could find if somebody else is already doing it. Doesn't look like they are. Um, any Zelda players will know exactly what this quote is and where it came from. But uh, I'm going to throw a picture of the key tag up right now. And basically, it is the quote from Zelda. Sorry, the legend of Zelda. It's dangerous to go alone. 
take this. <laughs> I think it's perfect for your key to your bike because, I mean, when do you ever want to be without your bike? I know I never want to be without my bike. The reason I want to gauge your interest, see how many people would want to get one of these, is because the smallest quantity I could order them in would be 50. I can't just buy 50 of them and then, you know, if they never sell, I just have 50 key tags to myself. So if you would be interested in buying one of these key tags, let me know in the comments below. And if there's enough interest, I will go ahead and order them and start shipping them out. Who knows, maybe I'll try and get them together for the uh, Southern California Motovlogger Meetup. But I think that's going to do it for today's video, guys. As always, if you liked the video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace. What the fuck, Richard? And it's still recording. Oh my god, I love you, camera. I love you when you work.